Okay, guys. At least I have my makeup on this time. I'll put my glasses on. I can see y'all. Hi. Welcome back. Okay. I showed you the box. I just opened the wig. We're going to shake it out together. Salt and pepper. I turned 50 in August. So I think I've graduated that I can wear a silver salt and pepper. And I've always wanted to try it. I have no idea what it'll look like on, but I know this color combination was popular in the women in my family. And uh, I thought it might be kind of fun for a change to play dress up. So let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, I should show you my alopecia just in case someone's dealing with that so they can see what stage I'm in. This is the hair loss that you can see here on my sideburns. All this is lost, which isn't terrible, but it's just odd. Then some of the scalp on that area. Some more scalp area. I did use a spray the other day, so there might be a little remnant of that in it still. It wasn't exactly the right color to use, but it did, it did enough just to experiment, but I couldn't wear um, my hair without a wig. It just didn't look healthy and correct. It just looked better with a wig, so that's where I'm going. But you see how my growth is just spotty. So if I try to do bangs, I colored it a little darker this time and tried to do streaks, but regardless, I've always had fine hair, so this isn't exactly <laughs> the best look in the world. Plus, I have ears that kind of stick out, so <sighs> nature is funny, isn't it? So anyway, I'm just going to forget about it, not worry, go on and enjoy what I can do. Okay. So that's what I want to help you guys do. So let's get this salt and pepper on. I'm shaking it out. I want to show you the inside. This is a lace front, which I've never tried before. Can you see? Let's see if I can show you on a piece of black underneath. You could see it better, I bet. Hold on. I'll get it for you. Okay. See the lace? at the edge right here. That's called the lace front. Okay. And then when it's laid on your head, on this portion of your forehead, it should disappear more or less and give you a more natural hairline. That's the idea in the way. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. I know I'm goofy. All right. So, I'm going to put the forehead in. And this is a regular size. I'm going to pull the back down. These are my two thumbs here. I feel the center of my two thumbs. And I kind of line it up to the center of my ne neck. And it's probably too far on my forehead. So I just kind of lift it. Until it feels about right, you kind of start to feel where it might feel right, at least to start with. And check the two taps that they're centered. Mine was a little off center. Where am I? Let me take these off for a minute. Where my sideburns are. Okay. So right out of the box, this is what she looks like. Can you see it? Let's see, with black background, if I had a black wall back there, you might be able to see it better, but I hope you can see it. So we have some spiking going on, which it could be fun, you know, and it's parted kind of center my right. And usually I part it this way, but that doesn't mean with a wig I have to, I can mix it up. Might even try <coughs> center part, excuse me. 
paid. I kind of like it. And it said that you can piece it out to make it more modern. Oh my gosh, it just really has color definition. <laughs>